Okay, so this is just a sort of on-the-fly thing, but today we're reacting to the brand new 2023 Lionel catalog. Okay, let's do it. Ooh, Vision Line Big Boy. Okay. Enter to win a Lionel Vision Line exclusive Big Boy. Eh, you know what? Yeah, maybe. Okay. Okay, here are the big boys. These look okay. We've got two versions of 4014, 4000, 4012, and 4002. Okay. Oh, now we're getting into the fantasy crap. <laughs> now here we've got 4019... 4023, 4024, and 4021. Wait, didn't 49T have smoke deflectors in real life, or was that another big boy? I mean, I swear to God, a, a big boy had smoke deflectors. I mean, Greyhound scheme looks kind of nice. Like, I actually like that. Now, what's the price on these coaches? Oh, only. Less than a thousand bucks. Let's go. And, ooh, look at this. Vision Big Boy Super Set. Okay. $4,499. Yeah, no, sorry. We got some Vision Reefer cars. More stock cars. Okay, here we go. Legacy Steam Engines. Oh, my God. They're bringing the Hudsons back. Let's go. For only seventeen hundred dollars, and huh, you like really? St oh my God, stupid! What is this scheme? What is this? Just what? <laughs> okay. I mean, I really like how they added the variants with the centipede tenders or whatever the hell they're called. Yeah, that's really nice variation. <laughs> okay. Next. Okay, now we're getting here. Okay, only sixteen ninety nine for this Hudson. Let's see here. Minimum curve of O seventy two. Stupid thing. Yeah, minimum curve of O seventy two. Yeah, no, I can't do that shit. My maximum curve is 036. <laughs> and so is my minimum curve. So, yeah. So, now we've got the Russian Decapods. Okay, these look okay. Nothing to shout about. Now we got the I-1s. Yeah, they're okay. Nothing to shout about. And oh dear God, look at those tenders. Those tenders dwarf the engines. What the heck? Oh my God. Okay, so these aren't the 3700 484s. These are the 2900 484s. For only $1799. Minimum curve of 031? Are, are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? There's no way in hell this can make it round 031. We got some nice... We got some okay fantasy schemes. We got Blue Goose and War Bonnet. I'm going to bring back the Black Bonnet and we'll call it a deal. Camelbacks. These are okay, except for the Atlantic City one. What the hell is this? Okay, now we're getting into the diesels. Ooh, E9 sets right off the bat. Southern Pacific. Oh, my God. Ooh, and we've got that fictional... 
I mean, now we got that New York Central scheme. I, I know it's like some sort of test scheme. I know what it is. I could just can't put my finger on it. Some sort of experimental livery that they were trying out. Okay, here's the Southern Pacific and the Southern. Okay, these are all really cool, I guess. And I take back everything I've said. These are supposed to be F9s, not E8s. I mean, the scheme looks cool. It just looks cursed on, like, an E8. Okay, ES44ACs. Okay, we got some nice... You know what? I'm going to say it. These are... These are some of the nicest fantasy schemes Lionel's ever produced. I've made a couple of these, like these two BN ones I've made on an AC4400 in Train Sim World. Uh, you can just check. You can just search for it on the Creators Club. I upload them both. But yeah, look at these. And Super Base ES44s, that's new. Chicago and Northwestern and Conrail. I mean, the CNW and Conrail ones fit really well because pretty much after the Dash 9, all GE designs look exactly the same. So yeah, these adapted really well to the ES44. Now the NW2. Now these look okay. Nothing to shout about. GP20s, yes! Okay, I desperately want a GP20. <laughs> like, other than the GP30, these are like my favorite Jeeps. Santa Fe 1106. 649. You know, not bad. And these can also take a minimum curve of 031. Lionel, are you okay? <laughs> now I've got Kyle and Kansas City Terminal. Now, here's a Lehigh Valley Camelback set. Does Lehigh Valley even have Camelbacks? I mean, this looks okay. For only a thousand bucks, too? Damn, that's cheap. Now, another minimum curve of 031. Lionel, are you sure you're okay? Now, hot metal train set. Okay, for only $200 more, okay. Iron Hippo <laughs> Legacy Set. Only $2,000. I thought that'd be somewhere in the range of like 3000 or some shit like that. Still, that's actually pretty expensive. I mean, that's actually, that's expensive, but it's also cheap for Lionel. And the... Rock Island Quad Cities Rocket Set. For only a thousand dollars. Damn. And the Santa Fe Fast Fruit set. Twenty-four ninety-nine. And minimum curve of O fifty-four. I don't know if that's for the cars or for the engine because on the locomotive page, they said this thing could handle 031. So, yeah. Now we're just getting into the rolling stock. Grain door box cars. Dear God, a hundred bucks for a box car? 150 for a caboose? Okay, two two hopper packs for for two hundred dollars. Dear God, Lionel. Okay. Oh dear God, this is where all the crazy shit starts to come in. Yeah. 
Mikados, eh? I'm pretty sure that's not what the uh, CB and Q four nine hundred class looked like. Like it might be a good representation of forty nine sixty in its modern age, except for the tender. But I don't think they had that headlight. I think they had above smoke box headlights or whatever the fuck you want to call them. And they're bringing these back for the umpteenth time. These tiny little tank engines. And now they're bringing on the Bud RDC units. These are okay. Southern Pacific ones, I just, I don't really know about those, but these Alaska ones, ooh. Nice. For only 600 bucks, damn, that's pretty good. Okay, next page. We've got the semi-scale ET44 ACs for uh, 400 bucks a piece. Then we got the semi-scale GP20s for 500 bucks a piece. How is a Jeep more expensive than a, than a Jeevo? How is a Jeep more expensive than a Jeevo? Now we've got the semi-scale NW2s. Two and those are four fifty. Somehow, somehow more expensive than a Jeevo. How is an NW two more expensive than a freaking Jeevo? Oh, oh dear God! Disney, the company that most Disney characters will rebel against. Okay, this is. Interesting. What's the what's the price on this thing? Oh, it's right up there. Five hundred and thirty. Somehow only thirty bucks more expensive than a single GP twenty. Okay, we got some box cars. Okay, these are okay, and Mickey and Minnie hand car. See all five colors and variations. For 200 bucks for that. I'm sorry, but that is just a scam. Okay, here we got the Toy Story one. Seen this one a thousand times. Frozen. Seen this thing a thousand times. Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Oh. Okay, you get this for the same price as a single NW2. What the hell are you thinking, Lionel? Oh, so what the hell is that paint scheme? Jesus. Oh, no. Now we're getting into the Thomas shit. And for some reason, this year you're only offering Thomas and Diesel. Where are all the other characters? Okay. That that looks somewhat okay. Hogwarts Express. Ooh, okay. And oh, look at this. We got different coaches for the different... Uh, I don't even... Yeah, for the different house crests. Yeah, we got Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw. I really hope I pronounced all those right. Okay, I saw a Jeevo on the next page. Do I even want to know what it is? I swear to God, for a second I thought that was... For a second I thought that was a Southern Pacific scheme. I think it was like, yeah, I think it was Southern Pacific Pumpkin that I'm talking about. Let, let me see here. Yep. 
Yeah. Yeah, for a second I thought that was an SP pumpkin. And the price of this is... $500. The price of a GP20, you can get this entire train set. And here we've got... Oh my god. No. No! No! They're bringing this back for the umpteenth time. I'm just going to say this now. That that Jeep. That GP38 or GP40 or whatever the hell it is. That That thing just needs... That thing just needs a complete rebuild. Oh, dear God, not this shit again. And Budweiser. Okay. Okay, what the hell? New York Central 2.0 Consolidation Set. That is the strangest consolidation I've ever seen. And for the same price as a single NW2! We got the Gold Mountain Land Chief Set. I'm sorry, but I, I just can't I just can't take those 440 boilers seriously. Look at how they massacred my boy. Okay, Texas special set. This looks somewhat decent. Somewhat. For only five hundred dollars. Now we got the Santa Fe Dash 8 Autorack set and See, this is what I'm talking about. Look at these boilers. Look how they massacred these engines. Okay, now we got the Lino Lines mixed freight. Okay, I guess. Now, upgraded... Union Pacific Flyer. Now here's the CNO steam set. Only, only four hundred and fifty. The same price as an NW two. And we got a PRR set. And then the graffiti set is back with that horribly proportioned dash eight. I mean, look at this. Th oh, my God. Ugh. I mean, look at this thing. The front stairwell is already broken. The back one is just off. I, I, I think it, the back one's just separated. I think it uses EMD trucks. The tanker car is bigger than the locomotive. I mean, the tanker car is like, it's taller than the locomotive. Yeah. Yeah, okay, there's that. Dirt, I mean, derail tanking. And derail tanker car, I can't fucking speak. Okay, and the Santa Fe Super Chief is back. And it looks to be orange now. U.S. Army said, okay. Western Maryland, 754, okay, Santa Fe... You know, line out. They call these FTs for a reason. They come with a B unit permanently attached. Well, I don't think it's permanently attached, but yeah, they come with a B unit. 
That's part of the order. You order the A unit, you get the B unit too. So where the hell is the B unit? Oh God, look at those ugly 44 tonners. Those are just disgusting. And the dash eights. Okay. And the TMCC rail bonders, they're okay. I don't think a certain person I know will appreciate the New Haven one. Ahem, Jersey. Ahem. Okay, uh, these look w m meh, whatever, I don't really care. Never really was a big fan of these fictional sets. Yes, and neat. I love box color. I love these box cards that are designed by Angela Trotta Thomas. Like, I always love these box cards. I always love cars that are designed by her. Then we got the Ford and Chevrolet cars. Yep. Yeah. Yes, the trippy trolley's back. I want that so badly. You can't stop me. Oh my god. Okay. So here's their usual Polar Express array of sets. Polar Express RDCs, too. <laughs> Polar Express Ice Track. You really should have painted the ballast blue for that one. So that it would blend in more. Then we got Polar Express trolleys, a couple of Polar Express train cars. Not a big fan of those figures. I'm just going to say it right now. Oh, God. Oh, scale Christmas. For $11.99, you get this. Which, its minimum curve is 054. Sorry, no, wait, no, wait. Wait, no, that's for the passenger cars. I am stupid. Okay, I'm not going to try to pronounce that name. Then we got a couple of things that look like... Then we got a couple of cars that look like... Yeah. Oh, God, not this. I hate this set. No, get that away from me. That is slightly less toxic, but still fucking hideous. Now this, it's okay, I guess. That's okay, too, I guess. It's tiny and cute, but it's mid. Okay, we got... TMCC Rail Bonder, North Pole Central Trolley, FT. You got a Doodle Bug. That's I think that's the only Doodle Bug in the thing this year. We got more Angela Trana Thomas cars. Now we just got some assorted rolling stock. Sled X. <laughs> And hot cocoa caboose. That's okay, but 
if you made it the happy endings caboose in Canyon City, I'd I'd buy it. But only if it's the happy endings caboose. Okay. Dear God, that thing's hideous. Okay. No. 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 Those are... Eh. 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 The Millennial Figure Pack. And we'll just pretend we didn't see what what that is up there. Still, the Millennial Figure Pack. Oh, God. Now we got all the fast track options. Power control options. And American Flyer. Oh boy, this will be interesting. Okay. And of course, they gotta have a Polar Express. Oh my god. Who asked for this? Okay. Well, with that, we've reached the end of the catalog. Thank you all for watching, and have a good day. Bye.